So my name is Miguel Simões. I work for Lenovo, uh, which is probably best known for its laptops, uh, but it also does smartphones uh, under the brand Motorola, and also servers and storage, which is a business it bought from IBM 10 years ago. So my role is technical uh, business development lead for customers in Europe, Middle East and Africa. And uh, what I do is basically to help our customers to get the best design and deployments for data centers and also edge uh, cloud deployments that help them to you know, deploy the either traditional workloads or as well the newest AI, artificial intelligence, you know, large language models or uh, video inferencing kind of applications. My name is Hardik Goel. I work for Nokia. Um, as Miguel said, Lenovo is known best for its laptops. Nokia is best known for its phones. But we basically are in, in, the, in the business of delivering mission-critical networks. I work for the Network Infrastructure Group, and I run business development for the enterprise segment. Lenovo actually has a very good uh, track role and background on servers and storage, so this is our business. Um, and uh, Nokia is very well known for its network uh, you know, products, value proposition, also on the data center. So we thought that coming together, as uh, we complement each other very well, we would bring more value to our customers. And as we would bring best of breed solutions from both camps, which we are focusing on, we can bring this together and deliver a very uh, you know, value uh, proposition, interesting value proposition for our customers together. So the key reasons for Nokia and Lenovo to come together in this space was, so Lenovo is bringing the servers and the storage for the data center. We bring in the data center fabric to complete the solution. Then we blueprint it, we validate it, we run it together and make sure we're delivering that end-to-end -end automated blueprinted solution towards the customer. This basically gives them confidence. This, if you look at one of our taglines, it's basically evolve with confidence. This is basically one of the steps to make sure that enterprises can evolve forward with confidence. So one of the benefits of this joint offer solution is that we are able to you know, create some kind of an ecosystem that is pre-validated and integrated, as Hardik was saying. So this is one. And what we are seeing now, in particular, going forward with artificial intelligence and machine learning, is that you need a reliable uh, ecosystem. So not only, of course, on the application itself, with which actually Lenovo has a, a broader a set of partners, but also on the reliability of the infrastructure. And this can be, you know, the servers and the storage, but also the networking. So you don't want to test kind of a, do the learning of a, of a certain um, algorithm for machine learning uh, for, you know, two weeks, just to find out that there was an error in between and that you need to scrap uh, and start from the beginning. So you need to be reliable. Of course, high throughput, big bandwidth uh, in, in terms of interfaces and so on and also flexibility to adapt to new uh, AI or also um, you know, uh, traditional workloads because the infrastructure typically would be in use for both, uh, both systems. I think Miguel outlined the benefits that the servers and the storage brings about, right? When we went about delivering or building the solution, we went in with a completely new architecture of building our NOS. So our NOS is easily adaptable. You basically have, a, if you want to, do, if you're in a sort of an enterprise that wants to do it yourself, then the NOS is, opens up, it gives you APIs to interact with so you can do it yourself. Or we also deliver a completely modern automation and orchestration engine with our fabric that you could leverage. So we bring in a modern NOS, we bring in a highly flexible and adaptable environment around it that makes the enterprises consume the network much better than anything. At the end of the day, between Nokia and Lenovo, we want to make sure that enterprises can roll out their networks, their data centers, at the speed at which their applications are demanding it. We want to make sure that we deliver that promise, and that's what we're bringing to the table. I believe AI means everything for enterprises, because AI, whether we like it or not, is going to be the future uh, for most of the enterprises. And it's, 
even if me as an enterprise, I'm not concerned about, you know, I'm, I'm not in an urgency to develop my AI. If I look aside and I see my competitor is actually developing AI, what is this going to mean for me? So I need to be very, uh, you know, uh, thoughtful on, 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 on that. So future is going to be AI. And um, for you to do AI, it, you can do it on the cloud for sure. You know, and again, smaller companies are going to do it on the cloud, but there is all this um, sense of um, confidentiality, which um, also, and even sometimes the, the, the speed and the availability, uh, GDPR kind of concerns. So it means that in many cases, the customers would prefer to have this locally. Depends on the workloads, of course. Imagine, for instance, AI video inferencing. You don't want to bring your images going to the cloud, so you want to keep it local. So it's going to be critical to have local infrastructure. And again, this infrastructure needs to be fit for purpose uh, in terms of AI. And what does that does mean is that you need to have reliability, you need to have speed, and you need to have flexibility. And the joint solution between Lenovo and Nokia brings exactly this to our customers.